All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Anderson Silva. Teo Sonnen. UFC Middleweight Championship is on the line. You ready? Let's fight! Silva comes out. In the black and yellow trunks. Chael threw a kick and Anderson caught it. Southpaw, Chael Sun in white trunks. Southpaw against Southpaw. Sonnen will push the pace. Ah, the chance of Silva. Oh my, look at that. Whatever it takes. Oh, he yeah, yeah. rocked him. He hurt him. Big shot by Jail Sonnen. He hit him again! Sonnen strikes early! Wow! Who would have expected that? He's got him down. Look at it. Anderson got him down. Chael Sonnen. Chael's got a hold of the guillotine. He's going to use that to stand up, and he does. He's bringing it as promised. He hit him again! Left hand! Wow! And again! Anderson with his hands down, Joe. Big and it's shot. This is where Chael Sonnen shines. He connected with some vicious strikes. He moves into half guard. He's got the arm pin, Joe. Chael Sonnen. And Chael Sonnen is one of the very best in the world at grinding and beating guys up from the top position. Very difficult to shake off from this spot. Nate Marquardt couldn't do it. Yushin Okami couldn't do it. To the body. Silva wants to wall walk. The takedowns we expected. We Dominant ex in the striking game early. I don't know if anybody did. Yeah, we did not expect him to catch him with that left hand and hurt him like that. And again, Controlling the legs. Pinning his wrist down. Anderson's trying to use that butterfly and elevate him using his foot here. But Chael's going to stay on top of him, keep his weight on him. And this is what Chael's best at, that wrestling background. And he's hitting him with some big shots. Catching him every time, he's got his Now back. he's got his back. Ahead, trying to set him up. Trying to lock in a choke. Remember, Anderson Silver, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. What Chael is very good at here, Mike, is control. He's probably not going to try to throw the hooks in. He's just going to stay on and roll with them as he did there. Half guard now. Another big shot by the challenger. Full guard now for Silva. As dominant as we have seen anybody against Anderson Silva. But it's very early, and it's a five-round fight. Yeah, what it is is a matter of how much damage can he do in this position? How much wear and tear can he put on Silva? Oh! oh, my! You could hear that one. Now with a quick left. Into half guard again. And watch for the elbows, that push down elbow. Nice uppercut. He didn't see that coming. Snuck it on the arm again, pin. Joe. Pin that right arm down. He's going to hit him with the left. And Anderson knows it. That's why he's trying very hard to control that wrist of Chael Sonnen's. And he hits him with it. Anderson moves back to full guard. Silva. And Chael hits him again. And again, and again, and again, and again. Over and over again. He's getting punished He's by Chael Sonnen. Up. This is going to take... five seconds. Oh, and big shot. big one. And this is going to... Side control. This is going to take a tremendous amount of confidence away from Anderson as well. Full guard, 30 seconds.
Chael Sonnen could not have asked for a better start. And he set it up by outstriking Anderson Silva early in the fight. Ten oh. seconds. This is more shots than Anderson Silva has taken in his entire MMA career. Round one to Chael Sonnen. What a spectacular start. And Silva is slow to get up. Man, he was battered. Chael Sonnen took him down and beat him up. Here in round number one. The talking has stopped. The fighting has been controlled by the challenger. Anderson Silva quickly comes out in round two. Nice leg kick by Anderson. Anderson's ignited. And he Sonnen takes again. him down again. Title fight, five, five-minute rounds. Nice elbows from the bottom by Anderson. Chael's trying to step over into half guard. Trying very hard to get past that right knee of Anderson's. Anderson fighting it, Chael moves to half guard. And he's avoided damage on the way in with these takedowns. He's avoided all damage. The chance of USA here in the sold-out Oracle Arena. Oakland, California. And Anderson trying to do what he did to Dan Henderson, which is stifle the attack by just holding on to him. Now he's boxing his ears. Look at this. And, and Anderson believe holding it or not, on to him, that so is he's got effective. no defense, right? That does not feel good. Chael Sonnen. And Chael trying to break it free here. But Chael may also use this opportunity as Anderson holds on to him to try to pass the guard. Chael said, win or lose, Anderson Silva will know he's been in a fight. Silva, 11 and 0 in his UFC career. But getting bad Big here. left hand by, by, by Chael Sonnen. Longest win streak in UFC history is in serious jeopardy. Back and forth. The shots to the champion. And that's the kind of stuff that Chael Sonnen does. He just, those aren't the biggest shots in the world, but he's never going to let you rest. And he'll never go away. Powerful shots again. Good elbow from the bottom by Anderson. Chael's conditioning has always been superb. And we have not seen Silva pushed like this. Trying to posture up. Silva has control of the right wrist. The left is open. Good bottom. elbow. And the elbow, as Joe said, right to answer the shot by Silva. Two minutes remains in the second round. Well, Anderson's doing a better job of defending himself in this round. He's going for an arm bar here. Chael's got to be very careful if Anderson can control that wrist. Big oh. shot again. Missed with that one. seconds smothering the champion looking for a hammer fist or two he's got to be careful all the while though of submissions from the bottom Anderson is capable of throwing those arms up and yep, there he goes corner said watch for the triangle yep, and the be arm bar as well. the triangle he's trying to control the wrist nice mixing things up very nicely Elbows to the thigh, more shots to the body and head. And again, Anderson trying very hard for that arm bar. Another big round for Sonnen. <laughs> U
UFC middleweight championship. Anderson's got his back up against the cage. Would like to get back up to his feet here. Let's see if he's capable of doing it. Chael Six is back. Anderson looking for a Kimura. Trying to work on the arm of Chael Sonnen. 15 seconds. Look out for his leg. Anderson, he's got to be careful of his leg here. Chael's leg's in a bad position. And he's, and he's out. Final seconds of the round, Joe. And he nails it. Takedown, and here's a huge left hand by Chael Sonnen. And this is the end of the round. Anderson attempts a Kimura here while Chael Sonnen has his back, Sakuraba style. Tries to scoot and wind up into half guard, which he does, then attacks the leg. Had the leg in a bad spot. Silva came out and really tried to open things up at the beginning of round two with his striking, Joe. Chael was able to take him down right away, though. Back on the feet for the start of round three. Big swing by the champion. There's a lot left in this fight. A lot left. Silva. Dancing around and looking to engage. He does with a spinning back kick. Chael pushes forward again. He's got him down again. And this is the difference between the Damian Maya fight, the Talas Leitas fight, is that when Chael gets into the third and fourth round, he can still take Anderson down. Yep. He can still threaten with it. Anderson can't dance away from him. And Anderson, again, trying for that Kimura, but Chael's on top riding him. And notice he doesn't put the hooks in. He just rides. He rides the back. That way, when Anderson turns, if Anderson tries to throw him into his guard or attack a leg, Chael will just ride it, spin with him, and wind up on top. Continuously with the knees. Chael Sonnen staying busy from this position. Trying to soften up Anderson Silva. And he isn't hitting him with the biggest shots in the world, but they're relentless. And Anderson's got to defend himself. Anderson taking multiple shots here. And again, they're just slow, you know, throbbing. Counting punches, nothing big. Put his hand up and a moment rolls, ago, now and he notice, spins see, and gets Chael the guard. Stay on, stays on top of him. Silva in a better spot, getting the guard, trying to control Chael Sonnen, but having a difficult time each round getting back to the feet. And this is the type of fight that wears on you. Now, the, the question about Anderson in the Damian Maya fight was, did he tire? Why did he, why did he coast the last two rounds? Well, if he was tired in that fight, what's it going to be like going into the fourth and fifth in this fight? Because Three he's minutes. been carrying Chael Sonnen's weight on him. He's been getting beat up. He's been frustrated. He's been getting taken down. All-American at the University of Oregon. The chance of Sonnen. And Anderson locking the body triangle down. Now, you cannot attack from this position. The only thing you can do from the body triangle is possibly attempt a Kimura and then let the body triangle go. But really, it's more to stifle the guy who's on top and restrict Man, look breath. at that. One, two, three, four, five. The rabbit punches. But he can't get as much into him as he can with, with an open guard or even a regular closed guard. When Anderson has that body triangle, it makes it much more difficult to generate offense from the top. But he's also not going to be able to attack. He's not going to be able to sweep. To the body. And to the head. And he lets go of the body triangle. Wrestling 101, Chael Sonnen. Two-time University Greco-Roman national champion. Olympic alternate. And the thing most important coming to this fight is everything Chael Sonnen said he believed. He believed he could win this fight, and so far, he looks He's brilliant. He's got to be careful of the triangle. Anderson was trying to control his wrist there, throw that triangle up. 
and he's, he's turning right here. He's trying to go for an arm bar as he's moving his hips, but Chael Sonnen very aware of it. And he nails him again. Los Bolivia is the most talented fighter in the sport, Anderson Silva. But the, the big question is always going to be, or always has been, what happens when he fights a really good wrestler? He fought Dan Henderson. The first round he was taken down. The second round he caught Dan, heard him, and then finished him off with a rear naked choke on the ground. This is the second time he's fighting a really good wrestler. And it's been three rounds, Joe, like that first round that you just talked about. Well, even more successful. Dan was not as successful in the first round as Chael has been. Dan really just managed to take him down and control him, but Anderson tied him up and prevented a lot of damage. And he lit him up with some strikes. 30 seconds remain in the third round. Championship fight. Five five-minute rounds. Chael's turning it on now. Punishing the spider. Kale Sonnen credits a bunch of his work ethic to his late father who passed away in 03 and he promised his father he would one day be a world champion. Maybe tonight's the night. Right out to take the center of the octagon. Left hand by Silva. Kick to the body by Anderson. Elbow buckles him. Here comes Anderson Silva. Chael's got a hold of him again but can't control. Anderson with a kick to the body again. Big left hand by, by Shale. Stiff jab, swing and a miss by Boothman. Sprawl. Chael's on the bottom. Anderson Silva on top. His corner set it perfectly. This fight is far from over. Here comes the champion. Can he keep him down, though? Chael's got him over. Reversal. How good was that? That's wrestling, baby. Couple of big kicks to the body of Chael Sonnen early. I mean, that's, that's really how dominant he is as a wrestler. Even when he's on the bottom, he can turn it around. Now, Anderson's got to be very, very frustrated now. He's hit him with some good shots, he's still there, and he has not been able to stop him from taking down or controlling him when they go to the ground. He has put him on his back as he promised, and he has beaten him up for the better part of now four rounds. And he has forced Anderson to fight. I mean, Anderson is coming out each round when, when you know, he has to stand up. He's doing it with an urgency that we haven't seen from him before. He's taking taking some bombs here. Chael Sonnen trying to become the new UFC middleweight champion. And the first man to defeat Anderson Silva in the octagon. UFC president talked about Chael Sonnen going into that fight against Nate Marquardt. Not a lot of people believed he would take out Nate the Great. He did it impressively, setting himself up for this opportunity tonight. That was a huge confidence builder, too, because Nate Marquardt was thought to be the number one contender in the middleweight division. And a lot of people thought he was the most well-rounded guy outside of Anderson, you know, in the middleweight division. Chael's Anderson's, trying to pass, Joe. Anderson's trying to use those butterflies is what it is, Mike, and, and Chael just basing. There he is again, throwing the right hand and an elbow. The conditioning of Chael Sonnen, as good as any. But Anderson won't go away. 
and he's getting beat up like we've never seen before. Yeah, we've never seen him get dominated like this before. And no question, he needs a knockout or a submission to win this fight. Absolutely. Again, he tries to lock on that body triangle to slow the assault. Just he's got to be careful, pace. though, leaving his arms in there. He's got to be careful he doesn't get caught. Look at the left arm of Anderson as Chael Sonnen straightens out his right arm. Be, be cognizant of that left arm. See how he's doing that? That's yeah. setting him up for an arm bar. When he's, when he's holding on to that elbow right there, the thing is, does he have the energy? Does he have the ability to execute it? Wow. Watch the long legs of Silva. Yeah, he's looking for the opening to try to do that. Chael's bleeding. And it's from the elbows of Anderson from the bottom. But he's just smothering Silva, Joe. Smothering him and making him carry his weight. Some heels. Anderson will try pretty much anything now. 30 seconds. Remain in the fourth round. From the bottom, it's the spider. You want to talk about backing up everything you have said for the last seven months? Good elbows from the bottom by Anderson. Another we round. Are headed to round five. Another round for Chael Sonnen in the books. This is 4 0, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the beginning of that round. There's a nice short elbow by Anderson that hurt Chael Sonnen. And this is the reversal. And here's where he got cut. A sharp elbow from Anderson from the bottom. Just a short, sharp elbow. And that's what opened up his eye. Chael Sonnen believes he is five minutes away from achieving his lifelong athletic dream of being a world champion. They are on their feet. Sold out Oracle Arena. Fifth and final round. Takedown avoided. Anderson's still very light on his feet. Oh, he oh, tagged him. Again, he got him. Rocked him. Unbelievable. Just as it was in round one. I mean, is it too early for Chael to start celebrating? That's huh. the question. The Side control. Of USA he's, got a, he's got a choke. He's trying to finish the champion. Anderson gets his hips back under and back to full guard. Everything that has been said, all the interviews that have been done. And now the fight has been taken to Anderson Silva like we have never seen before. The punch that looked like it knocked Anderson down was actually a slip. I was just showing the replay. Anderson ducked under it, lost his footing, and now he's inside control. Lost his footing, ended up on his back. And let's see if he can get off his back. And Anderson's trying to hip escape to get to a better position, but he's very tired at this point. He's been carrying Chael Sonnen's weight for all four rounds. And Chael's not gonna let him go. Are we three minutes away from having a new champion? You know what, you can never count out a guy like Anderson Silva. There's a reason why he's a champion. He's got to know he's in a desperate situation. Let's see how much he's got left. Another what kind of weapons bottom. he can pull out of yeah. his arsenal. But this is desperation time. This is do or die. Wow. Big punches from Chael Sonnen. Sonnen is beaten. He is bloodied. But that's what he said he expected. He expected to have to go to battle. He expected to have to overcome. But as tired as he is, he's in his spot. He is on top. Said, I owe everything I've achieved in my life to the work ethic that my father taught me. 
And we're seeing it all come to fruition here tonight in this title fight. And he's going to keep doing this. Why not? Punch from the bottom by Anderson Silva. 11 fight win streak could very well be coming to an end. A record setting win Triangle. streak. Watch out. Triangle. This is trouble. This is trouble. Can he choke out Chael Sonnen? Chael's Dan in, Anderson Chael's Silva. In big trouble. Chael, Chael's got his legs. Fight. He's got his legs across. That's what's. He's tapping. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Did he tap? Josh Rosenthal has stepped in. What is going on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening here? Anderson Silva saying he tapped. Did he tap or did he not tap? Let's take a look. It looked like he tapped to me. Let's see it again here. He slips it over, slaps on the triangle. Pulls it tight, locks it in. Now Chael Sonnen did what you're supposed to do. He stepped over with his legs. This is the way to counter the position. He stepped over. There's That's the right tap. hand. That's a tap. Unbelievable! Watch the right hand of Chael Sonnen. Anderson, the Spider Silva, remains the UFC middleweight champion! Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the Spider. Anderson Silva giving all kinds of respect to Chael Sonnen. What a great main event. What a great moment here.